let's see, next we have the target block, which is a hay bale and redstone. And what this allows you to do is obviously output a redstone signal, similar to a button and a redstone lamp. So just get a bow, and you have particular points where it will output more redstone signaling. So, well, signal strength, sorry. Just get some actual dust, and you can see how much the output is. So we'll just do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Put that in 14, 15, and we'll put that there just in case for 16, maybe 17 just to be safe. So if I output it on the outside, nothing really there. On the inside, nothing there, unless it doesn't have the redstone functionality yet. No. Okay, so 116 it typically does, but it doesn't have any here, so it is just decoration. It doesn't have any functionality, similar to the crying obsidian. So, yeah. Otherwise, we have the crimson and warped blocks, as you can see here. Obviously, you'll just mine the trees for those, and you'll most likely find the fungi in the, um, or the grown fungi, I should say, rather than trees, in particular, uh, particular biomes, the crimson forest, I think, and the or warped forest, and the crimson, I think crimson forest, or crimson something else. Not too sure. You also see some of these plants as well, the roots, sprouts, and vines. There's also the crimson and warped fungi as well, which I think only grow on the following here. And we'll actually try bone milling these without um, using this as well as with a typical bone mill, just in case to see what benefits we have. I'm trying to find the actual crimson island in here. Let's put this another rack because we don't need it. Put that there. Okay, so that's instant. That's gonna okay, take a bit. So you can see also some shroom lights in here as well, which also another light source. Which you I don't think you can craft it. No, you can't, so you can only get it from those and they just light up. I'm pretty sure that the same as a torch, glowstone and redstone lamp also along those lines. So we'll just get some regular bone meal as well for these fungi. Fungi. I also get the uh, the blocks that they spawn on. I don't think they work on grass. I don't think. Nope. And I don't think they work either on things like mycelium or pods or either. No. As you can see there. This is a bone meal. Doesn't work. Okay, so you do need the actual other to make them grow. Besides naturally growing. So that is interesting, so you do need those. Um, we actually get some crops as well though, just in case to see if it's only for the others. Since I did have the sort of hoe patches here, or tilled patches here. So it doesn't work on regular crops either, it's only for the new fungi. So that's good to know. Otherwise, we have some soul lava buckets, or the fluid itself, which I think you'll find in one of the new biomes, unless it is just for its own purpose. But uh, we'll take a look at once we get to the biome. Uh, otherwise, blue nether wart, I'm assuming you just find it in the dimension, um, besides the fact that you can use it for the blue and the blocks. And that should be pretty much it. Uh, we'll cover the ores and see what mining level they have. Oh, sorry, pick level is required for them. But uh, otherwise, we'll actually take a look at the dimension, since we might as well. So, black quartz, wooden pick, or higher. And I think that's the lava. We'll set another quartz as well. So we can use wooden pick or higher for hardened lava, which I don't know if you can convert that to something later down the line, but at the moment you can't. The gold, and otherwise you can't either. Jimmy, you can't break that, so we'll just get a stone pick, which you need for glowstone. And the rose quartz, and the gold, it seems. Okay, so iron, did I switch to that? I did, okay. So you can't anyways. But 
iron and higher for the gold ones. So, mod nether gold, first nether gold, and nether gold ore. So, the nether gold ore is mostly what you're going to want. I think the other ones don't exist, for obvious reasons, so it doesn't complicate things. And it might be that they're just for mod support, so if a mod wants to use nether gold ore and doesn't want it to reflect the others, and obviously they can tweak it in their own way, I assume that's what it's for. Or just left over, um, besides maybe just a decoration, technically. Okay, so we've got the fluid here. We don't apparently get back with the bucket, which is interesting. And it does give off the sound effect, but it doesn't hurt the player. And we'll finally just eat this before going into the portal. Find out how similar or different it is to the nether itself. So the nether bagel is made with a crimson fungi and nether wart. And this will give us three and no other type of effect. So that's something. Okay, so we'll just clear the effect here so we don't need that anymore. We'll just need a few more bagels, because why not? And we'll enter the dimension and you can see what it's like. So we're going to uh, game mode C, I guess, for this, and then we'll eventually go into spectator. So we're in the dimension, and you can see we're in a sort of crowded space here. You can see some of the gold as well. I think that is. We're going to spectator. Since I'm assuming this is just spawning us in the middle of somewhere, and there is more to the biome, to the dimension. So you can see the dimension is called Nether Mod Crimson, uh, Nether Mod here. It's got the Crimson Forest, with its Nihilium and a few things here. Let's take a look around. It is quite deep here. Okay, so lava there. You can see some Nether Gold. I don't know if we'll see some regular Nether Quartz though. I think it'll only be the new variations that are appearing here. Uh, we don't have any of the mushrooms though, which is interesting. So none of that yet. I'll check my water distance just in case for this. Just increase it a bit. So you can see that. I think I might have also missed the basalt as well, which is supposed to be near some lava, but we haven't got any of that. So we've got some magma, some blue magma there, some yellow. Uh, basalt I also forgot about, but it doesn't have much else to it. it just appears in certain biomes. Um, you might have seen any of the obsidian. I uh, missed it. So we'll just fly around a bit more and see what else we can find. So we've got still the crimson here. A bit of a warped forest trying to appear, but not at the later heights apparently. So we are getting the crimson fungi spawning here. We aren't the... sorry, the warped fungi, but we aren't the crimson one. So that's interesting. Uh, we actually see if we can get the nether ward from the sprouts or not. Nothing. Okay. Unless it is possibly just shoes or something? Um, things? I don't know. Either way, that's what it looks like. We'll see if we can find the other one, which I think is the regular nether. The nether wastes biome. Um, we've also got a soul sand valley here. So that's something. Actually, while we're at it, we'll actually test if you can use the following on this. Get the, and you can get the the soul fire. So you can get that. So that's cool. Uh, otherwise, I think that's pretty much it, though. Obviously, you want to go back through the Nether Reactor portal to then exit the dimension instead of going. Instead of staying for however long. Um, but yeah, I don't know if we'll see another wastes. Probably not. I think it's just these three biomes for the most part. Um, but that'll just be, you know, typical netherrack and a few other things. Nothing too out of the ordinary there. As you can obviously see underneath these biomes. As is. So we've got that. Uh, 
black quartz. We aren't finding any basalt, which I think is supposed to be at lower levels, or is supposed to be falling from the ceiling, I think, from memory. But I forget which biome it's in. That typically happens. But yeah, thanks so much for watching, and goodbye.